Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's dangerously cold out here, but the perch bite is red hot on Lake Winnebago. Nailed it! <laughs> a big beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, Holy moly! Oh my it's God. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How oh do you guys? Awesome. Oh my gosh. Yes, folks, this recent Arctic blast that we've been experiencing here in the Midwest has really helped shore up our ice on some of our lakes. And Lake Winnebago is finally safe. And we're with Captain Matt Merton. And by safe, I mean safe for ATVs and still to take caution. Yeah, ATVs and snowmobiles, no trucks yet. I recommend guys hiring a guide if they want to try this ice fishing for the first time because it's tough to find out where to go. It, it, it's a lot of water, and a lot of water doesn't hold fish, and just a little bit of it does, so it does it does help to have some knowledge with you. And I'll tell you what, folks, I've known Matt about three, four years now. He is the best out here. You guys, your group of guys that ice fish out here are outstanding, right. yeah. and that's because you move and you, you experiment, right? Yep, a lot of moving, a lot of drilling holes. Well, we got a big cold front. What do you think, buddy? We're going to... We're gonna see what we can do. But you texted me we're gonna to have to work today. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna be a slam dunk, but we'll we'll get our fish. All right. Hey folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Introducing the new Rise Float Suit with motion float technology. Breathable, waterproof, secure, and all the features that make the difference. Waterproof cell phone pocket, rapid drain system and maximum flexibility. Fish with security in the Rise Float Suit from Ice Armor by Clam. Rise above. Clam Outdoors. Pursue the ice. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program on Lake Winnebago with Captain Matt Merton. And, and Matt, it's not just walleyes out here. What can we catch? Oh, uh, there's schools of perch roaming around. There's white bass and a few crappie. Okay, what do you recommend for baits now? Do you start out with a spoon type bait like we're looking at right now? Yeah, spoon is always my go-to. Uh, from there, then we'll might go to the swim baits or, or a flutter spoon or something like that. Hey, here we go. Jason's going to start our day off with... Oh, dude. That's a nice perch. That is a very nice perch. So let's see if I can grab that lip on there. Is that what you guys have been catching out here on Winnebago? Yeah, we get quite a few of them out here. All that size, too. Now, when you're using your locator, what was he doing on the bottom or he what? He was right on bottom, yes. And that's on a small spoon, so that's the deal? Yep, yep, small spoon with a couple spikes. Hey, there we go. We just caught a decent perch over there, there, Jimbo. And, oh, that's a nice one, Jim. Hold him up nice and high. You know, it is really great to see these perch back in Winnebago, isn't it? Oh, it's great. Has it been good in the summer, too? Yeah. Wasn't too bad this year. Well, that's a dandy. And you're going to clean them for me? I will. I'm just kidding you. No. <laughs> I can do and that. And were you bouncing on the bottom or what were you yeah, doing there? Yeah, pulled them right off the bottom. Uh, had them come up about a foot and a half and then let us just sit in there and then he nailed it. Hey! hey, hey. All right there, man. I, maybe the bite is starting because it's getting windier and colder, you know? Yeah, you think so, man. Oh, hey, walleye! 
Hi, there we go. And you know, folks, uh, the deal out here on Winnebago, no size limit. And these are the tasties, right? Oh, these, they are definitely the best. Yeah. And, uh, you know, time of day make a difference out here at all, do you think? Uh, sometimes, but, you know, sometimes you'll hit those midday, you know, feeding windows and they'll just go crazy for, you know, half hour, hour, something like that, so. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's Red Hot Jim over here again. Oh, we just caught a nice sort of decent walleye over there. Oh, 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 oh. Here, sit on your clam bucket here, buddy. And uh, kind of whip that guy. That's a pretty perch. I wonder if the minnow head is the secret. They seem to want a little minnow head today. Yeah, aren't those beautiful Lake Winnebago perch? Oh, they're dandy. Okay, Travis, you're marking him now. What do you do? Bring just, it up? I just wiggle a little bit and we watch for that bite, John. And when that tip just goes there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you, sometimes you really sit still with it, huh? Yep, just wait for them to do the work. Well, let's see what we got here. We got ourselves. Say, whoa, a walleye. There we go. Nice Not bad, walleye. buddy. Here, I got my transducers stuck there. <laughs> and there we go. It's all tied up. Okay. But yeah, uh, that is the key out here, especially on a cold front day like today. You get them to come up, you mark them, and what do you do again? I just give them a little bit of a wiggle, especially with the blade, with the baits that we're using, the Rapala. I got a hyper rattle on this one. Um, just a little wiggle is all it needed for the action. It gives a little tap, and here we are. Well, folks, it's our uh, second day on Lake Winnebago, yep. and we couldn't fish yesterday. Why? 12 inches of snow. <laughs> yeah, and it was blowing, and the roads were basically impossible. Yeah. The weather's not much better today, folks, so no. we got wind chills of about 35 below zero, don't we? Yep, and we're still out here. Well, we got to finish the show, but I got good news for you today. And what's that? Captain Matt Merton's ice guiding service has a permanent shack. Let's, Let's go. go. Hey, Matt, let us in. It's cold Help out here. Us. It's cold. Hurry, Matt. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, dude. I wouldn't want to fish anywhere today without a permanent shack. And uh, this is for your clients usually, right? Uh, yeah, maybe once in a while I'll sit in here too. You know what I found interesting the other day was the size of the perch that we were catching here on Winnebago. They're back, aren't they? Well, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think we're at the top of our, of our population. Here we go, Matt. I got one, buddy. And, ooh, a little walleye to start the day. Actually, that's interesting. Matt's got one on. Ooh, I wonder if it's another little walleye like I just got, Matt. Let's see what we got coming in here. Ooh, that is a beautiful perch. And you know, Matt, we were out in South Dakota a couple of weeks ago. That's the same size perch we were getting out there. We have them right here on Winnebago. Yep, nice little fatties. Yeah, hold them up nice and high. I mean, that's a beautiful fish. And, uh, you know, I, I guess it was about 20 years ago when I used to come up here and catch them. You know, it, it hasn't been that good until now, huh? Yeah, maybe about five or six, seven years ago, there was uh, they were plentiful, and now they're coming back again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is that fun or what? So much fun. All right, let's see. Walleye or per... Ooh! Ooh that's a nice perch. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, now, tell nice the perch. folks how many fish we're marking, though, too. Oh, at least four. Yeah. I mean, they're not aggressive, which is can be really frustrating because you want them to just all bite. But, you know, you'll get that one that attacks. Aren't those gorgeous, though? I mean, you know, seriously, like, we were in South Dakota, and those are every bit as big. Yeah. And Winnebago, of course, is only an hour drive from Milwaukee, an hour and a half from Chicago. So. Yeah, it's perfect. And this is, is this not luxury, fishing in here? Oh, yeah, it's so cozy. Hey, hey Matt, what do we got there? Oh, oh. hey, lift that guy if you can and show the folks. That's This is the quality of, of the, the fish that we're getting here. And for folks that are watching us on TV, we're actually doing a Facebook Live. That's why we're kind of repeating ourselves. <laughs> but is, is that an average, Matt, or is that above average? Uh, this one's actually just a little bit on the low side. Well, that's actually, they're gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Perfect eater. Yeah, and uh, no, seriously, get a butterfly filet off that, man. Perch are my favorite. And you got a special recipe for those? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> can't mess yeah. a perch up. No, you really can't. There he is, there he is. <laughs> oh! That is so, like, ooh, he, boy, you help me out. Oh, look at that guy, folks. That's a chub. Look at the size of that perch. And, and, and again, I mean, Matt, I, I just can't believe the quality. of Matt's got one. Ooh. A double, a double. Get him in, Matt. We got to get him in, buddy. And. 
in while I am perch. Ooh, that's another gorgeous fish. Now, Matt, you're going to be in a quandary when the walleyes start biting. How do you leave these perch alone? That's why I'm. That's why I'm not too sure where the walleyes are right now because I've been doing this. This is so much fun. Well, I mean, again, you know, I go back to the early '90s. I haven't seen quality fish like this in years, and and this is going to last all winter, buddy. Yeah, I would say, yeah. We'll it, and then as we get into winter, you mix in some big white bass and crappies and walleyes with your guide service. That's what, yeah, we usually know where there's a school of white bass or walleyes also and a perch. <laughs> Matt doesn't even have that one off the hook. Oh, oh there. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. I don't blame you for <laughs> getting excited. Fun. And you know, the faster with perch, folks, uh, they're a schooling fish. And uh, if you can keep a bait down there, they're going to help keep the school around. And a lot of times, too, if they're not marking fish, pound that bottom. And, yeah. and that brings up, that yeah, puts up poofs of sand and, and yeah. that attracts them. That yeah. one was more aggressive. What happened? Yeah. That there's at least four of them, and this one swam up really fast, and I want to go back down. And again, folks, it's it's wind chill of 35 below zero outside. I didn't think these fish would be that, that aggressive today, would they? Matt's got another one. Ooh, oh, nice. are you surprised at how aggressive these fish are with this cold front, Matt? Uh, a lot of times uh, on cold weather. <laughs> Ooh, no, that's there's a usually dandy. a pretty good bite uh, sometimes the cold snaps. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, was, I would I would have loved to have fished in that blizzard yesterday, but my wife wouldn't let me <laughs> take Blake out when the, the road's that bad. But they actually will bite during a blizzard too, won't they, out here? Yeah, sometimes that's uh, it's amazing. I'm just impressed. These are quality fish, buddy. We are fishing Lake Winnebago in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. A one and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, two and a half hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about diesel fuel additives. Many people ask me, does Amsoil have product for diesel fuel? Well, we do. And today I want to talk about our all-in-one additive. It takes care of everything that you need in one dose. It cleans, it lubricates, it boosts your cetane, and it also keeps the fuel from gelling up in the cold. So you take care of basically all the needs in one dose. Check out the back of the bottle for the proper dosage for your tank. And for more information on any of our fuel additives, check out Amsoil.com. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series, to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all-new professional gray tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle. Rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. From it's gonna be a snowy day season to this baby can handle it season. Fleet Farm has everything you need because right now it's make sure I've got traction season. Let's get this house toasty season. Break out the shovel again season. Time to bundle up season. And of course, did someone say fish fry season? Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Taking a break in the fishing, one of my favorite events and probably the Midwest's biggest ice fishing event, Battle on Bagels coming up February 22nd and 23rd, Todd. Some great prizes this year, right? Yep, we got two trucks, two boats, uh, $275,000 worth of prizes all, all total. That's incredible when you're talking about those kinds of prizes. And uh, everybody's got a chance to win. The way you structure this event is how for the prizes? Uh, it's random, so first place is uh, $2,019, and then it goes on down from there. Uh, the first truck is 150th place, and I believe the second truck is something more around 3,000th place. Which gives everybody a chance to win, which is really cool. And folks, this is really a family event up here in Oshkosh. You guys have a great perch fish fry on yep. Friday night, and you're adding Thursday night to February 21st as a family deal, huh? Yep, so Thursday night we're going to open the tent up, and we're going to have a band called the presidents uh, should be a good time come on down we'll have food catered in from Cristiano's pizza and uh, that all starts around six o'clock so for the guys that are down there pre-fishing families from Oshkosh want to come down the tent is heated so maybe wear a pair of boots but other than that it should be a lot of fun it's gonna be a lot of fun again 21st is a party 22nd and 23rd are fishing days family event big tents everything else in Oshkosh and uh, for more information they can go to 
Fallonbago.com. <laughs> well, you got another one there, buddy. Ooh, ooh, he's got to get down into the hole there to retrieve that one. Look at, they're, they're unbelievably beautiful fish, man. And, uh, you know, so if folks call you to Ice Guide and request perch, that's okay? No problem. Yep. And it's, they can request walleyes or white bass too, right? I'll tell them whatever whatever we have biting good at that time. But. Oh, marking several at a time. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Now, Matt says these are small, and I think those are absolutely the perfect eater. What do you think that, Matt, is? That's about eight, isn't it? And that's on the smaller side of the day, right? Yeah. yeah. That. Eight, nine inches or so. Uh, um, and, and you're right, it's a perfect eater, but we've been getting kind of spoiled with some of these uh, 10, 11. <laughs> yeah, like, that's a small one. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Ooh, is he taking out drag? Oh, What's wow. going on? Oh! Whoa, nice! Look at that, there we go. Now, folks, what is that? that is a giant white bass. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and you know what? Those are, we talked about it recently, those are delicious. And uh, go stand by Matt once there. Matt, tell the folks what, how you clean that. You just take out what's out, the back strap, basically? Yeah, from the, from the lateral line north. We, we, oh. keep, we keep this portion of it. And then the, the dark red meat that's right next to where the skin was. Yeah, skim that off of there just so that your fillet is all white and they are top notch. I tell you what, they're as good as any fish and they get a bad rap from people mainly because they don't take care of them in the, in the spring and summertime. If you put them on ice right away and just take that back strap, they're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, you can't let them get warm, especially during the summer. <laughs> there we go. And, ooh. Now, Matt, is that common? The perch will be swimming along with the white bass too? Matt, is that common, buddy? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's the smallest perch of the yeah. day after your big white bass, there's too. there's more down there. I know. I'm getting there. back. <laughs> I love that. I love catching these things. What do you got? Something bigger? Oh, that is, now, see, now you can catch the big ones, and I catch the little ones. Hey, Matt, I want to mention, too, you know, looking at the inside of your shack here, folks uh, want to come out and fish jumbo perch with you. They don't have to bring anything. You got all the equipment? Got everything. All you need to do is bring uh, something to drink and maybe snacks. Yeah, I mean, that's nice. You know, all your rods are set up uh, for what you're fishing for, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. So all they got to bring is something to drink and snacks and a fishing license. Hold that one up. Nice. Ooh. Oh, Blake. <laughs> now slow down. You know, I enjoy the... Whoa! That is a fish. <laughs> hey, Matt, Woo! come on over and hold yours up next to Blake's. I mean, this, this, this is I a gorgeous like fish. <laughs> I mean, yours is nice. Oh, John, you're embarrassing. No. Look at my little fish. Yours is nice, but look at the size of Blake's. Isn't wow. that a beauty? That was too fun to catch, as you guys can tell. What was the deal on that, Blake? <laughs> well, there's a few of them. It's the same thing. There's like four or five of them down there, and I'm glad I got the big one. How big is that one, Matt? Is that pushing 12? Uh, let's see here. It's about a 10 incher. Yeah, yeah isn't that gorgeous? Wow. <laughs> Get out of here and enjoy this, right, Blake? Yeah, I'm going back to And Matt's fun to fish with, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's a ball. Ooh, my turn here. Ooh, this one feels pretty not oh. bad at all. Look at that oh, one, Blake. That's a beauty. You know, everybody's <laughs> laughing at, everybody is laughing at my hat. And, you know, <laughs> this, this is actually um, the Ice Armor by Clam baklava i think they call it but what are you laughing at that does that look better than the way i had it uh, yes <laughs> i thought so but no I, I obviously i don't need the full face on the inside <laughs> baklava <laughs> 35 below wind chill outside sitting here in the comfort kitchen <laughs> big old look at that one blake i know i'm marking one i don't well know. no look at him he's big wow that's bigger <laughs> than your other one <laughs> well yeah it is nice job Folks, I, you know, again, everybody's traveling to North and South Dakota, and, you know, we got this right here. And uh, Matt was saying before how we're at a really good cycle on Winnebago for perch right now. If we get a, a couple of years out of this, this is going to be fun in the summer, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> I like your stance. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Matt, your side of the place is catching bigger ones than my side of the place here. Hey, hey Blake, though, tell the folks if they haven't ice be fished before this would be the perfect experience wouldn't it oh it's super easy to learn you know if you have 
any type of flash of the hummingbirds are super easy to learn. And right. Get the little cast master and some of these little wax worms and you're ready to go. Folks, breaking news from Fleet Farm. Take a look at this price on Berkeley Trilene XL or XT. Just $4.99. Trilene XL, Trilene XT, just $4.99. Folks, when I head out to fish, I always stock up on my favorite Baitmate fish attractants. Dale, I just put that Baitmate on, man. Baitmate offers a complete line of fish attractants and convenient spray bottles for every angler and every species of fish. They've got your bait covered. I also have the newest Baitmate delivery system in my boat, Baitmate Ultra Live Game Fish Dip. Simply flip open the lid and dip your bait for even application every time, and it's ideal for frequent catch. I, I just dipped that in the bait mate, you know that? Improve your chances of catching fish with bait mate fish attractants. It just makes sense. In addition to the iSelix 5 and 7 family, there's a new model, the all-season model, that comes complete with everything you need for ice fishing and for open water fishing. In addition to your ice fishing shuttle that comes with a battery and a floating transducer will come a summer transducer along with a power cord and a gimbal mount for your time in the boat. The Ice Helix 7 for 2019 also has networking capabilities, so when you're on the boat in summer, you can take advantages of iPilot Link, 360 imaging, and data sharing across your network, getting more out of your unit from winter to summer. Folks, when you're out on the ice, what do you guys think we need to have? Johnsonville. You got it right. And today I've got Johnsonville better with cheddars. And you know what's great about these guys is they're pre-cooked. This is premium smoked Johnsonville sausage. And what they do at the factory is load it up with the Wisconsin cheddar cheese. And again, they're pre-cooked. I hope you don't mind. I'm turning them with my fingers, but we don't have any other utensil out here. Well, Awesome. Well, excellent. Aren't those great? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taste that cheese? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look for Johnsonville Better with Cheddars, folks, at your favorite grocer today. <laughs> I saw the hooks in on that one. How long was he sitting there? Oh, we got another white bass. Wrapped up. Uh, is it a white bass or a perch? Perch. Ooh, that's a dandy. Look at that, folks. Kind of lip them there. Yeah, that's the best way to really get an idea on the size of these fish. And, and this hasn't been nonstop. I mean, it goes in waves, and uh, you catch four or five, and then you rest for a little while. But that's a beautiful fish. Matt, isn't it? I think what they're doing is they're just making circles and you just you know, spend a little bit of time waiting and as soon as they come in you make hay and then they wait for the next lap. Hold them out. I mean really, isn't that gorgeous? I mean that's gorgeous anywhere in the country. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about 20 minutes folks yeah, since we've had a fish so a don't lose him. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Look, look at, at that. that. Look at that fish. It's a beauty. Yeah, hold them out. I mean, that is gorgeous. They really like, like that acting cast master today, that's for sure. And not much movement, right? Oh, no. Not you just kind of jiggle it, and then uh, when you see one? Yep, keep it still, and then they'll smack it. <laughs> Were you marking that one? Were you marking him before you hit? Yep, it was just uh, one fish that came in. Ooh, ooh, do oh, oh, Matt. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous fish, buddy. Look at the size of the belly on that thing, too. And uh, you know, Matt, I, I, I know people are gonna wanna come and do this with you. Do you have any openings? Yes, I do. Do you? Plenty of them. And you got another guy that works with you that'll uh, if you're busy? Yeah, yeah, we can handle bigger groups, too. If, if we had to do uh, eight or 10 people, we could we can accommodate. I don't know what this is, Matt. I might need some help here, buddy. Wow. I, I had that jig and rappel on. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Holy cow. That's what we were just talking about. Hey, can you hold that up for the folks there? No. Come on. That's a gorgeous fish, man. That is an eel pout. And folks, I will tell you what. That, and you see, if you watch the show for any amount of time, you know how much I love those. That back strap on there is freshwater cod, isn't it, Matt? Yes. And it's the most delicious piece of meat you'll ever see, right? Yep. 
And, uh, and, and you know, all they got to do is boil it. And I want to tell the folks that uh, later in the year, you actually will guide for these. And folks, you can keep as many as you want, right, Matt? And, right. They're, and they're absolutely the best eating fish in the world, right? Hold them up nice and high and, uh, yeah, hold, if you can. And uh, I want the folks to see just how beautiful they are. Isn't that pretty? Look at how he's got a little tail going there. I hope it's not an eel pump. Uh, he came in pretty hard. Feels pretty good. Maybe it's a white. Oh, Ooh, that's there. Good. Whoa, oh, that's, that's a beautiful perchy right there, isn't it? Nice job. Yeah. And uh, I caught that eel pot, I thought, wow, but that, no, I actually man, had three or four come through there, and that one was aggressive. <laughs> Another gorgeous perch. Man, the man's hooked up. There we go. We got to tell the folks, and here he is. That's a nice fish. Now, Matt, um, even in these shacks, we've already moved once today. It's not that difficult for you to move. So when you have clients, they just sit in here when you move the shack up to a new spot. Yeah, it seems to be the most comfortable way to do it is uh, keep the doors shut, uh, keep everybody warm, and you, especially when we're on perch, we're not making a very, very big move. Captain Matt Merton guides Lake Winnebago on a daily basis. For more information, give Matt a call. That phone number is 920-410-2206. 410-2206. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. You know, folks, this is the best time of year to get a great deal on a boat. And our two recons, our 21-footers, are for sale right now. And these are really well-equipped boats, aren't they? Yeah, John, they are. They're both uh, 2185s. And, of course, we've got the 300-horse, uh, 700, 15-horse kicker. We've got four helixes uh, on there, and we've got the Altera and Talons. So they're decked out. They're, they're decked out for trolling as well. Uh, so, yeah, everything, track systems and the whole nine yards. Perfect all-species boat, folks. And uh, for more information, they can go to reconboats.com. What is it again? It's reconboats.com. Reconboats.com. No, really, folks, this is a good deal. That's the best perch fishing I've had in Wisconsin in a long time, man. And we did it when it was blowing 30 miles an hour outside and the wind chill is about 40 below. Show the folks what we caught here today. I mean, this is just about four or five hours of fishing, folks. And look at that. Keep them coming there, Matt. Uh, Matt's got everything you need for fishing. Uh, rods, reels, all you got to do is come out. And when he moves, when you move, we don't even have to get out of the shack. It's gorgeous, right? That's the deal. You That's keep us warm all day. Look at that. Beautiful mess of fish, buddy. That really, really is. Thank you. you Appreciate bet. it. I don't mind the slime. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey!